G'day, we're at Maguire's Motor X 2013. This is Norm Harding from Aussie Desert Cooler. We're looking at his brand new 34 Ford Coupe. G'day, Norm. How you going, Simon? Pretty good, mate. Now, obviously, this car, first thing people notice about it is the roof is a lot closer to the ground than a normal 1934 Ford. Tell us why this car has that such an extreme sort of uh, profile. Yeah, the, the profile of the car <coughs> come about back in the um, 50s when uh, Coupe started appearing on the Salt Lakes and um, what happened there was <clears throat> they started chopping the, the roof lower and lower to try and streamline the car more and uh, it got to the point where it was totally ridiculous and you could hardly see out the windscreen. <clears throat> so the, uh, the governing body at the time, the Southern California Timing Association, they decided that it was a really bad thing to uh, not be able to see where you're going at high speed and they made a, a height restriction on on the chop you know you can only chop it so far so there was a couple of guys out there come up with an idea one the most famous of them was the Pearson brothers and the, the two brothers decided that they'd keep the same height of the windscreen but they'd lay the windscreen back just giving more streamlining and still a restricted view but it's it's made for a fantastic car the car still still is around and it's been an inspiration for this car. And the other cool thing about this car is the jewellery. So we're talking about the uh, brass, I think it's made out of brass. Beautiful things that are adorning the body. Tell us a bit about those, Norm. Okay, the, the nose of the car was, was put together by Tom Peach and his son Stephen um, is also an extremely talented craftsman. He's, he's made all the jewellery by hand. The little rocket ship, um, I said to Steve, I've always loved the, the Buick rocket on the, on the bonnet emblem and uh, we made a smaller version which is more appropriate for the size of this car and uh, put that on the front and uh, Stephen done all the brass work on the front as well just to finish off the grill and give it a, a really good look. And the other thing that's particularly outstanding about this car that you won't see on too many other hot rods unless you live in Castlemaine is the engine. Tell us a bit about the motor. Yeah, the, the motor is a 1942 Lincoln Zephyr flathead. Um, the Lincoln Zephyr flathead was basically the same as the, the V8 flathead, but it's a V12. It, it's like the V8 with another four pots stuck onto it. Um, they weren't that much more powerful. Uh, you know, this, this motor here has all been rebuilt. We dynoed it at about 100 horsepower. So it's no big great shakes, but they were a lot talkier motor. These motors have been very successful in boat racing. They were used um, during the war in landing craft just because of the torque of the motor. They were also used in Melbourne on uh, a couple of the craft that buried up and down the Yarra. Um, there was a few of them around there. Uh, this motor uh, originated out of uh, Pomona, California, is where we got it from. And uh, it's all been rebuilt by a company in Queensland. It runs so smooth, it's just a pleasure. It's got a different sound to the V8. Um, it's got more of a, a, a roar to it than the, the V8. Um, and I, I just can't wait to get thrashing down the road with it. <laughs> we can't wait to see it on the road, Norm. Congratulations, it's an awesome car. Thanks, thanks very much.